My name is Jim Latrace. I own and operate LLSeeds.ca, a seed farm near Lumsden, Saskatchewan. I'm the fourth generation farmer in my family. Um, we've been farming in Saskatchewan since before the year 1900, um, but I've been at this farm for 23 years with my father-in-law and his family. I, uh, we grow pulse crops, cereal crops, and oil seeds. Most of them for seed except for canola, no canola seed. For example, some of the things we did with imagery this year. We scouted our wheat fields, we flew our wheat fields, and we saw that we had um, some uh, heavy weed populations. So we made a prescription for our herbicide applications so that we applied heavier uh, herbicide in the areas where we were trying to kill uh, Canada thistle specifically. Um, another thing we did, we had some uh, bug damage in our canola fields, so when we were applying our uh, our fertility, we were using boron and phosphorus. Our crop was short on it, we saw in our tissue tests. And so we went to apply it, we made a variable rate, not a variable rate, but a variable application, an on-off uh, prescription so that we were just applying the nutrients where there was good crop. We weren't applying it just to the weeds. The third thing we did, um, we uh, flew the lentil field when it was approaching uh, desiccate desiccating time and we uh, applied a much heavier rate of desiccant where the crop was green and uh, more actively growing and we could turn down our desiccant rate where we saw that the lentils were already dead and dying. We started using uh, imagery a couple of years ago. The problems that I had with that imagery was that it was dated. By the time I got it, it was already old news. It was a week or maybe 10 days old. And uh, the resolution was much too wide. Uh, it's really hard to find your small problems with bug damage and uh, germination damage if you have a resolution of between 3 and 10 meters per pixel. Um, the benefit that I got from using uh, Markison and their expertise was that we had resolution that was sub-inch and I don't think it needed to be quite that tight but it was unbelievable how how good the resolution was. You could walk out and find specific plants in the field. Um, that was the first thing that was good, was resolution. The second thing that was really good working with them is I had the plans, I had the maps the next day and maps that you can have immediately uh, is very useful because then you can use it right timely when you need to apply so then you would know if I needed to spray tomorrow or let's say I was going to spray on on the weekend I could have uh, somebody come and fly the field uh, and have maps right away and we could make a prescription right away um, not only did they give me the maps right away and give me tight resolution they also assisted me in uh, preparing the maps into prescriptions. It wasn't just uh, here's some pretty pictures and good luck go be on your own. It was like they helped me right through every step of the process. Um, they helped me right from the start of the year. We uh, flew the field right after emergence and we flew the field three or four times right up to the end where we used it to desiccate and by being with me through each step of the path or each uh, step of the way in the production of the crops this year it was a really useful product that we did on a trial basis but I can really see the benefit of it and it was really uh, timely and beneficial to me uh, this year.